I can't tell you how lucky I feel in getting the special edition McFarlane Toys Gold Label Superman Unchained Armor Action Figure, the Patina Edition. This DC Multiverse action figure cannot be found in stores and is only available on the McFarlane Toys website, where it was limited to just 10,000 figures made. So let's go ahead and unbox the special edition Superman Unchained Armor action figure now. Well, the Superman Unchained Armor action figure sure does come in a really nice packaging, which I'm gonna go over later in a second, so stay tuned on that. But it's really easy to unbox. You just take it and slide the figure out like so. It's got a nice black clamshell that's form fitted around the figure, collectible card stand, as well as his wing accessories. And I think you just go ahead and you can just simply pull it out like so. Well, give me one second and let me get this action figure ready to showcase. Now that I have this Superman unbox, I can't believe how rad this action figure looks. And me using rad kind of dates myself a little bit. So, <laughs> well, let's go ahead and check out the articulation. So we're gonna start with the head. Spins around very nicely. Got a good tilt from side to side, but a little restrictions right here with these pieces that jump out from his helmet, kind of hit the neck area. Going down, not too bad, but he kind of goes right back to reset, so. But overall, pretty decent articulation right there. Now let's check out the arms. He does a pretty decent T motion, as you can see, even with these pauldrons right here. So let's check out the rotation. Shoulders spin around quite nicely. And they also spin around here as well, very well. Let's see if he's got bicep rotation. He does have bicep rotation, really nice. All right, for the elbows, they bend in really well. That's excellent. Anywhere else? Nope. As for the hands, not too bad, not too bad at all. Nice rotation at the wrist. And they bend inwards and they bend outwards as well. So really good there. All right, let me put his arms up and we'll check out his torso right up here. And be careful right here. They have these little sharp points. So if you put your thumb there, you don't want to like stab yourself. So, all right. Upper torso, really nice rotation. Anything here at the lower? Yep, he can spin around quite well. Excellent. Let's check out the crunch. Not too bad, I have to say. Going backwards. Very nice, very nice. So, and I'm gonna do a little jiggle test to see how well they kind of move side to side. Let's see. Not too bad, not too bad. So he's not super loose. So I don't expect too much issues when it comes to sanding this figure up. All right, let's go ahead and check out the legs. Nice split, very smooth. Any thigh rotation? Some minor thigh rotation. All right, he can kick up really well, kick back really well. So that's really good. Excellent. Let's check out the knees. Not too bad, not too bad. Any thigh rotation right there? Nothing that spins around, nothing right there. As for the feet, cannot go down. And you're gonna have restrictions because of the armor going here. So don't look like there's gonna be any rocking motion either. Let's see if it goes up any. Just a little bit, but he does have the toe articulation. So that seems to be all when it comes to his articulation for this action figure. But he does come with these wings. And as you can see, They'll insert in the back and they have articulation for them. And you just go ahead, insert it in like so. And then you can kind of adjust them up and down, spin them around on this figure. So, and they just pop out really easily. He does have a great display stand, which you can use at the bottom of his feet because he does have the holes right down there. And it is in that color of the silver and red that he has, but not in that patina kind of style, so. Now you also get, which is really cool, because it's a limited edition, he has this nice card stand. It's got a light space right there. You can stand it up like so, really well. You can slide in the card, and it's got a great picture of this Superman. And on the back, a certificate of authenticity, but you also get to know which numbered edition of the 10,000. And I'm going to show you that later on in the video. So stay tuned to see which numbered Superman I got. Well, 
Let's go ahead and check out the size of this action figure. Now it's stated on the McFarlane Toys website that the Superman Unchained Armor is supposed to be 7 inches tall. But let's go ahead and put the ruler to check it out. I have to say the Superman here, from his feet to his armored helmet points, is closer to 7 and 3 fourths inches tall. And if you're also a DC Multiverse action figure collector, here is his Superman standing next to other figures within this line to give you a sense of his scale within your collection. Let's put the special edition armored Superman now on the spinner to check out some action figure details on him and see what incredible action poses we can achieve with this DC Multiverse collectible. First and foremost, you can see the incredible armor that Superman dons when he has to battle Wraith and the incredible patina paint effect throughout the whole figure. Now looking at the helmet and face, you get these almost robotic anime style look with the elaborate points coming off from the sides and the center. I also really like how the armor parts on the helmet come around towards his face and where only his yellow eyes shine through the darkness. Now shifting downwards, you also get the carbon fiber texture on his neck and shoulder areas. Now Superman isn't Superman without that S on that chest emblazoned on his armor and you can see it there in red with paint damages to it. I really like the look of the segmented torso armor with its almost medieval futuristic design. I even like those metal points coming out and around towards his abs. Such a nice touch. And at his shoulders, you have that red cape style armor pauldrons that extend behind the action figure into blade-like wings that can easily extend outwards. Everything about the arms are great with the robotic style of armor and the red portions of painted armor on the forearms and hands that really pop out from the silver metallic paint. The legs also have that same segmented armor look found throughout the Superman action figure but with additional sharp angles to the design in the upper thigh area. The bottom portions of his legs from the knees down has that great red pantina paint effect. And is it me? But can you almost feel the heavy weight of his armored feet as he walks around the ground? And the backside of this figure is equally as impressive as the front. I mean, it's just oozing with robotic armor, and I especially like the design of the armor going down his spine area. And with the special limited edition action figure, you also get a great column display with a big DC logo on front that it has that patina style painting to it, which is used to hold up and proudly display the collector's card and the number edition one receives, which for me was number 1,604 out of the 10,000 made. Now let's go ahead and see what some sweet action poses you can achieve with a Superman Unchained Armor figure. So why is Superman even in this armor in the first place? Well, in the Superman Unchained comic book miniseries, released in 2013 through 2015, Superman here is battling an alien superweapon being that has been working for the US government for several decades after crash landing on Earth. This being is called Wraith, but this is not his true name. This is what the USA government has named him. Wraith is very similar to Superman, but is in fact stronger than him. So, when Superman and Wraith battle in the Unchained miniseries, Wraith can actually beat up and hurt Superman. So Superman now has to summon the Unchained Armor to give him the power to defend against and beat Wraith in a battle so fierce and long that it spans the globe. Here's a fun fact, in the comic book version, summoning the armor also summons the shield and hammer too for Superman. Eventually, this suit of armor gets destroyed, but it does a job in giving Superman the upper hand in defeating Wraith. Now let's go ahead and check out some of the packaging highlights over this exclusive action figure. The front of the box has a model black and brown paint job that goes around the entirety of the box. With almost a bronze light -like coloring, you have the DC logo, the Superman symbol, and the action figure name with the special paint edition at the top center. At the bottom front, you have the McFarlane Toys logo as well as the limited edition amount made below it. And just to the right of it is another gold foil sticker highlighting again the McFarlane Toys logo as well as the figure exclusiveness to just 10,000 pieces. The right side of the box has an unmarked QR code. How mysterious. The left side has all the info we just saw on the front. Now the back side has a sweet stylized illustration of the patina painted version of the armored Superman. How near amazing does this look? And as you saw on the unboxing, this wrap around cover comes off revealing the action figure underneath as well as the accessories, card, and the card column display. Now onto my pros and cons opinions over the Superman Unchained Armor Patina Edition action figure. The pros, the patina paint. Now hands down, this is the topmost pro of this figure with the metallic silver and red coloring with the patina effect and the paint damages throughout this action figure. They even use this paint style on his wings and the card stand. The sculpt, 
Everything is superb on this figure. All the details to the segmented armor is on point. Loving the texture as well within the carbon fiber areas too. And I have to say, this action figure has a great silhouette. No mistaking this for anything else. The articulation. Everything in how you pose this character is amazing. And it has a great range of motion within all 22 points of articulation that it has. You are going to have a lot of options with this Superman and putting him in your favorite poses. The collectible card holder. Loving this DC collectible card stand that comes with this action figure. Such a great piece to highlight the collectible card next to the action figure and loving how you get this certificate of authenticity to know which action figure number out of the 10,000 you received. The cons. The feet. I have to admit, I tried really hard to come up with something that I didn't like about this figure because I really like how this action figure looks as well as its design. Yet if I had to, I would say that the feet articulation is the only con that I have because you really can't move them around too much due to them being restricted by the leg armor that surrounds them on the sides. I can't tell you enough on how much I like the Superman Unchained Armored action figure and the patina style painting. In fact, this action figure is my current favorite in the DC Multiverse line because the armor on this figure is superb. Now, as of the date of this episode being released, you can still find this exclusive action figure collectible on the McFarland Toys website for about $29.99. So make sure to visit that site if you want to add this Superman to your collection. I have to say, I had a blast showcasing the Superman Unchained Armored action figure to you. And if you liked it too, smash that like button to let me know. Also, feel free to drop your comments below to let me know your thoughts about this action figure and so I can respond back to you. Hey, are you ready to check out more DC Multiverse action figures like these? Or maybe these collectibles are more your style. Well, thanks for joining me here at Nerd Amazing. And as always, be passionate in what you do, share your passion with others, and be kind to one another, as this world can always use more goodness in it. This is Adam with Nerd Amazing, and I'll see you next time.